Hi guys, Pete from PlasmaCutter.co.nz Today I thought I'd uh, I'd dug out my old plasma cutter and I thought I'd show you the old thing that I've been using for years and a few tips and tricks and some air pressure and some other bits and pieces. Thanks guys. Well, as you can see we dug the old uh, plasma cutter out of the back of the shed and I've got the old wheel sitting here and uh, this is the, uh, the old wheel. I've had this probably six or seven years. It's uh, old MyTech. And it's probably the same as, as most other generic Chinese plasma cutters and stuff you can buy anywhere basically on eBay or um, Amazon or, or anywhere really. I um, had a good run out of this one. It's uh, it's not too bad considering the price that I paid for the thing. But I haven't looked at it um, for a while because I haven't used it probably for six or seven months properly. I've just been cutting the odd bit of plate but I haven't, um, haven't really done anything major with it. I used to cut a lot of 3mm steel with it. And it worked fine. Um, just the issue that I had was was because I'm only on a single phase garage power that um, my compressor couldn't really keep up with it. So um, yeah, but other than that, it uh, it all went um, quite well really. So anyway, I'll show you around the thing and, and we'll have a look. So here we have it. Um, you know, my tech, you know, uh, inverter plasma cutter, and we have here. Which is the, um, if I get rid of all the dust off there, that's the uh, amperage, and then you turn that switch there up for the thicker the metal you're cutting. But um, I like to, to to have it running quite high. If we're cutting 3mm plate, I, I, I tend to, to have it about 35 amps, um, just for the simple reason that I don't have a hell of a lot of um, air pressure with this thing. This is the problem that I'm having. My workshop has a 15 amp circuit, but I only have one 15 amp circuit. The rest of it is just house house power, basically. So uh, what I had to do was, um, if I was only cutting a short piece of metal, I um, would turn the compressor on and then unplug the compressor and then plug the uh, the um, plasma cutter in and use the same socket until the air compressor basically ran out of air or it got too low then I would do it over. It's a pain in the bum really. But anyway, it's, uh, you guys might have the same issue unless you're in an industrial workshop but like I say I'm not. So uh, there, so what do we have here? We have, um, we just have here, which is your, your on off switch, basically just two wires that uh, turn your compressed air on, turn your compressed air off and turn the um, Turn the plasma on and turn the plasma off. Just controls the um, the switch on the uh, on your torch handle here. And this one, this line here, is just your basic air line for your compressed air. Your compressed air goes through there, it's done there, and it just goes up your hose and it comes out the uh, the end of your of your nozzle, which comes out here. So what we have is my machine here, so we'll turn them around like so. Get my cordless drill and we'll just take the, uh, the side off it and see what happens. Yuck! Wow, that looks pretty yucky to me. Like I say, I haven't taken this off for years. I'll just take the other side off quickly. Holy roly hell. Let's have a look at that. I'll show you the inside of it. Alright, so here we have my machine. And you can you see all that crud stuck to it? See the that crud everywhere? Look in there. That's a short circuit waiting to happen, isn't it? On the circuit board here. Look at all the crap on it. Wow. Cool.
cobwebs and all sorts of things and surprising the thing still goes actually wow wow look at that because that's all metal filings in there it comes through the back of this fan here sucks in the fan from the fan that direction sucks in there and blows it out towards this way here here's the other side that's pretty nasty pretty nasty so I would suggest you blow this out two or three every two or three months if it's in your workshop like mine where there's all sorts of stuff floating around in the air look at all the stuff stuck to that one big short circuit waiting to happen now I'll start my trusty compressor and I'll blow it out. Well that definitely looks a lot better. So uh, yeah, well, that might save an, an electrical short. So we'll put it back together again. No, we'll just do the other side. This is my old compressor. And like I say, it's um it's a little too small for what I'm using it for, I think. It's our Miller Falls. Um what are we can we see what it is? It's 454 litres a minute, and uh, it just can't keep up with the with the little 40 amp plasma cutter. Um, yeah, but you got to do what you got to do, and it's the maximum size I can have on the single phase power in my shed as well. So, um, yeah, I really think the three phase would be better, or um, not so much air pressure on the old plasma cutter. But um, the more air pressure you got on your plasma cutter, up to about 60. PSI the better it'll cut especially if you're using a lower power but um anyway so I hope you uh, hope you uh, enjoyed it I hope you learned something so anyway guys that's uh, my little plasma cutter um, yeah so it's had a bit of a clean up and it'll be good for the next uh, next few cuts um, hope you enjoyed what you've seen hope you learned something uh, if you did just click us a like on the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and I will bring you more little tidbits that I find floating around in my shed. Okay, thanks for watching once again guys. Cheers!